What's going on, my friends? Been in that session. Sky Baby. What's good? Today we are watching Matilda, a throwback. You guys have been suggesting, requesting this for a cool little minute. And today I was feeling like, you know what? I want to watch something a little nostalgic. So let's throw it back and watch a little Matilda. All right, so hit that thumbs up button if you guys have been waiting and suggesting this. Go ahead and hit that for me right now. Shout out to everybody that's currently watching this premiere. How you doing? How you looking? How you smelling? I hope you're doing, looking, and smelling amazing. Thank you so much for being here. Like I always say, you could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with your boy, and I appreciate you for that. If no one has told you today, you matter, and I love you, all right? I really do. Make sure that you're drinking your water, for real, for real. Spam up the chat right now with some hearts. If you're part of the Bench Squad, use the little bill emote. Also, if you want to become a member, click that link at the top of the description. That's my YouTube memberships. You get the videos earlier, you get the schedule, all that good stuff. I'll also go live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Billy Binges. Come follow your boy. It's a grand old time. Nine times out of 10, I'm probably going live after this video premieres. I'll also have a Discord, so join that because we be doing movie nights and all that good stuff over there. So click the links and all that good stuff. We're not going to do too much talking, though. Let's get straight into Matilda. Go to be butchers or bakers or candlestick makers. Some I'm not gonna lie, Danny DeVito has a really good voiceover voice, like, great. For better or for worse. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, how you go to adopt somebody and then you be upset? It makes no sense. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that is so savage. <laughs> You're not even gonna strap the baby in. You just gonna leave her in the back seat to just rattle around like a basketball in the trunk. 100% child endangerment. They shouldn't have been allowed to adopt anybody. Get out of the street, you little dodos. They really left the baby in the trunk. Oh, wow. I don't even remember this part. It's been a, it's been some years since I've actually sat and watched Matilda. It like I don't even know how long. Learn what most people learn in their early 30s how to take care of herself. Uh, there's some people that I know in their 30s that don't know how to take care of themselves. Some of y'all need to take a shower right now. Yep, I'm talking about you. Mm -hmm. Go brush your teeth also, because I know you didn't do it. I know you didn't. You just got straight up out of bed with your crusty mouth. You're nasty. You are nasty. Now, I'm not going to lie. This movie is the reason why I always sing this song. This song lives rent-free in my mind. All the way. Doom, 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 doom. All the way. All the way. By the time she was four, Matilda had read every man. Them old dry pancakes, she don't got no syrup? She took that to the brain? That's like eating a Popeye's biscuit. Uh, she didn't have no water or nothing. Now, there's fish fingers in the microwave. I don't even think they actually love each other. I ain't seen them. They didn't really kiss or nothing. Man, I want to know, when was the last time you've been to a library? Yes, I said library. <laughs> is somebody already really Billy library? Yes, shut up. All right, it is what it is. I said what I said. When's the last time you go? Just answer the question. I'm sure some of y'all was like, clearly you ain't never been to the library. Clearly we, look. Oh, I can't talk already. Oh, Matilda, help me. It's funny that you say that pre-recorded Billy because I know exactly who can help you. Today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. That's Better H-E-L-P in honor of Mental Health Awareness Month. May is a month to raise awareness about mental health, fight stigma, and provide support for anyone that is currently struggling with their mental health. This year's theme is Together in Mental Health, sharing personal stories in hopes of encouraging others to prioritize their mental health. I've learned the hard way several times by not making sure that my mental health was in check because I get caught up in the everyday hustle and bustle to the point where I find myself getting burnt out and sometimes it takes days to even weeks to recover from it. And because of those times, I've learned that I have to make sure that I check on me, that I'm good, because if I'm not good, then I'm not gonna be able to get anything accomplished. Another big theme of Mental Health Month is advocating for access to mental health care. This has long been one of BetterHelp's goals. They offer customized online therapy that includes video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. BetterHelp is more affordable than traditional offline therapy. You can even sign up for financial aid during the sign-up process and they accept HSA benefits. There is a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp 20,000 therapist network that gives you access to help that may not be available in your area. You just fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs and then you get matched with a therapist within 48 hours. Plus you can exchange unlimited messages 
and everything you share is completely confidential. You can also request a new therapist at any time with no additional charge. This mental health month, if you or someone you know is struggling, please share BetterHelp with them. You can use my link to get 10% off your first month by going to BetterHelp, that's betterhelp.com slash Billy Benjes. Again, that's betterhelp.com slash Billy Benjes. You could take as many as you like. That I want to know why she hasn't asked about her parents. Like, maybe I should talk to your parents about this. You keep seeing a little girl every day coming into the library, and she ain't came in with her parents not one time, and you're not wondering what's going on with her? I would be concerned. Like, let no, let's go talk to your parents. We need to find something out. This is not safe. And comforting message. You are not alone. You are not alone. I am here with you. Come on, girl. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anyways. I told you I was supposed to start school in September. You wouldn't listen. That's crazy. He don't even know how old the girl is. He he two years behind? Have another marshmallow, dip face. Dip face. Oh yeah, no, see, little Porky the pig, he wouldn't have been able to throw them marshmallows at me. I would have hurt his feelings. For real. He got the right one with Matilda. Cause if it was me. I'd be on his head. He'd still be hearing me today. Honey, do? Did we? What? Does that mean I can get that new TV? I'm trying to tell y'all, they really don't love each other. They do not. I, she she must be with him because of the money. $100. I sold it for 7800 This dude knows how to finesse. Oh my goodness. He is a scammer. Look, oh, you see? She actually kissed him when she seen that he got money. I told y'all this is transactional. Mm-hmm. It's about the money. He taught a lesson. Person? Get up. Get <laughs> She said, wait, why did he grab her? Really? That fool grabbed her like she was a mutt or something. I'm not gonna lie, they got way too much stuff. Like I need I need space and things organized, but they just seem like hoarders. Like look at look at that counter. Does your counter look like that? I'm 100% judging you just because I can't function like that. But if that's how you live your life, that's how you live your life. But I can't. You ain't going to be able to do that over here for sure. No, everything's going to have its place. Yo, that camera lens is freaking huge. Wow. Suspect exits domicile. Wait, is that a... Uh, that's a... Uh, what is his name? Stewie? Not Stewie. Pee Wee. That's Pee Wee? What happened to Pee Wee? Isn't that dangerous? Not to me. <laughs> I know that's right. He said it's not my problem. Once you buy, not my problem. Cheating. Of course it's cheating. Nobody ever got rich being honest. That is so true. I'm not gonna hold you. That is so true. That's the reason why I'm still poor. That right there. Or could I be lying? Now nah, I'm just playing. I'm still poor. I'm smart, you're dumb. I'm big, you're little. I'm right, you're wrong. I mean, that's only for a couple more years, Playboy, as far as that I'm big, you're little, because she going for show, sure, I'll grow you. For show. Sure. Let me see the money. Never mind. Double bingo, huh? Ooh. <laughs> she said, she said, no, that's what you won't do. He said, let me see the money. She was like, I'm putting it up. Nope, this is my money. But when you make yours, it's our money. But when I make mine, it's mine. How much? It's for me to know and you to find out. There it is. She said it right there. Ain't no way, boy. Ain't no way. That's your wife? Mm. Oh, oh, oh. I'm pulling it! <laughs> ah, no, see, no. If it if it's a battle like that, I'll be like, leave it on. I don't care what these people think. I don't know them. Hey, the hat shrunk, the fibers fused to my hair. That man said the hat shrunk. I don't think that's how that works, Playboy. That's not it. It's definitely not it. Are you in this family? Mm -mm. She like, I don't want to be. <laughs> like, I really don't. Not by choice. Moby what? This is still- Oh, whoa! You can't- Oh yeah, he tripping. He is tripping. You're a wormwood, you start acting like one. Sit up and look at the TV. I ain't never seen nobody be upset for someone reading a book. Wow. I mean, honestly, that this- What does the world come to today? Do people really read like that? Do they? You know what's crazy though? I don't even really watch that much TV anymore. Like I really don't. 
I watch this stuff for you guys, but like personally, I don't even be sitting and watching TV like that. Children, filthy, nasty things. Glad I never was one. Uh -huh. She says glad she wasn't one. Like how, how do you become an adult if you wasn't a little children first? That makes no sense. But I, if I was him, I would be like, I believe you run a tight shift. Cause that bun on top of your head look hella tight. So I'm just curious, did you guys go to a school where you actually feared your principal or your teachers? Very curious. Not because they was whooping y'all. I, you know, don't, don't tell me if your teacher was in school whooping you. I don't want to know that. I can't do nothing about it now. I hope that you, you know, seek some, some therapy or something to deal with the trauma. I don't really know, but just curious. Soda. Lavender. I'm Hortensia. Hi. Hi. Okay, how old is Hortensia? Cause she looked like she way too old to be going to that school. Of course. <laughs> Wait, she actually picked that fool. She, she DJ Jazzy Jeffed him? I, damn, how long has it been since I seen Matilda? I don't remember that either. Pipe and jagged edges, and the walls are broken glass and nails sticking. Yo, that is, oh, that is disrespect. Not even disrespect. That's just straight up damn abuse. That's what it is. It's straight up abuse. For real. You can't be doing that to people's kids. There's no way that I would let my, my daughter go to that school. I'm catching a body. I'm catching a body. Your mommy is a twit. Woo, she actually said that to that girl's face. Miss Trunchbull is the definition of F them kids, for real. At least she lives, at least she lives her truth, I guess. Yeah. I want to know, why did they let us watch this movie as a little children? Like, literally, she's been abusing these kids since she's been on screen. And then Matilda's parents are just as bad. Like, I really want to know what is so comforting about this movie, right? I know at the end she gets like her justice or whatever, but it's like we, we got to go through all of this trauma first. No wonder Disney is going in a different direction now. No wonder. That's crazy. But Matilda's teacher, Miss Honey, was one of those remarkable people. Now, I'm not going to hold you. I remember when I was a little children and Miss Honey popped up on the screen. I was like, I'm trying to take a sip from her, honey pop. You know what I'm saying? Just a little. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. This is Matilda, bro. Matilda. Chill. There are two times tables. Would anyone like to demonstrate? <gasps> Man, I remember when I was in school, like, math was good up until they started doing, like, the uh, division with fractions. Woo! That's when it started to get a little complicated for your boy. Just a little bit. 4,900. <laughs> Shoot, I wouldn't have been able to do that so fast. So I'm like, hold on, let me, uh, and then you carry the two and the one. You add five. Okay. Four, nine, two, seven. Miss Honey, like, uh, girl, can you do my taxes? You good with numbers. Wait a minute. That's a future accountant right there. It is. Oh, there was something fire about the way that she pulled her glasses down. Miss Honey, stop playing. Stop playing before I have you making Winnie the Pooh noises. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my gosh. Was that even a Winnie the Pooh sound or was that Tigger? One of them made that sound. A carbuncle, a blister, a festering pustule of malignant ooze. Malignant? Wow. Her daddy said that? That would ease, that would, that's a red flag. I would immediately call child services for sure. Like, wait, what? Her daddy said what? And he, he was joking, right? Good at those putrescent little children. Honestly, she played this role so very good. Like, it's really believable that she is this person. I'm not gonna lie, the landscape is kind of cool. I mean, it's outdated, but it looks cool. Baby wasn't his. Well, it was really great. No way. She got the nerve to put her finger in her ear, and I know you didn't clean it either. She probably didn't wash her hands. We don't like charities. We don't buy raffle tickets. No, for real though, I hate when people come to my house late at night. There was somebody that came the other day. It was like six o'clock. Talking about, I want to talk to you about this. You ain't finna talk to me about nothing. How about you work during regular business hours? You ain't my girl, boo. What you doing at my? Come on, no, hell no. They be doing that on purpose. TV show is more important than your daughter, then maybe you shouldn't be a parent. Oh, let him know. He shouldn't be a parent. She just came for your whole life on your porch. M material that I didn't see until my second year. Ugh, yuck. 
Hey, yo, speaking of drinking something, y'all make sure y'all drink some water. Mm-hmm. Talking about you, it's been a while. I know it's been a while. You chose books. I chose looks. I have a nice- She says she chose looks? Clearly, she can't see. <laughs> she cannot see. Because if she thinks she got something on Miss Honey, she blind. In the middle of the ring. He's standing in the middle of the ring because it's over. She's the real MVP. Shout out to Miss Honey. My little honey, Bo Bo. My little honey, Bo Bo. Yes, sir. That offer still stands, you know what I'm saying? You trying to get your Winnie the Pooh on? Let me know. Oh, wait, is this a scene where he, 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 what? oh my gosh, get the words out. A B to B to B to B to B, that's all folks, head ass. Is this the scene where this man eats a bunch of cake? At first it looked good and then it made my stomach hurt after a while. Rumptious cake in the entire world. My mom's is better. Oh, your mom's cake is better? Hey, uh, little Ralphie, can I find out what your mom's cake tastes like? I would like to be the judge. Uh, you know what, now that I'm looking at it, that cake don't look as good as I thought when I was a little children. It don't look all that no more. It kind of look like meatloaf with chocolate icing on it. I just want to know, why does he have to eat it so messy though? Like, why? Ugh. Her sweat and blood went into this cake. Ew. Ugh! 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 See you at lunch. Thank you, Cookie. And she's scratching her butt. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yo, this man is better than me, because after that first slice, I would have been out of there, because there's no way. That's a lot of cake. That man is going to be so sick. Ugh. Ugh. I want to throw up just looking at him. You can do it, Brucey! Look at Matilda coming through with the encouragement. But for real though, there's not enough words of affirmation that you can give me that would make me actually finish that. No, she didn't give him no water, no milk, no nothing. He's just eating that straight. I love how they really had this feeling like a glorious moment. Damn. Oh my God. That was gangsta. She literally broke the thing over his head. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was so gangsta. Wow. What the? <laughs> oh shoot. Oh shoot. Some people have fun and some people are cops. I mean, they're cops for sure. And she goofy as hell for thinking that's speedboat salesman. And there's not even, she ain't really chewing that marshmallow. Oh my, that's the fakest chews I've ever seen in my life. Wow, that was terrible. Teach you a lesson. What lesson? Do you and your father think you can make a fool out of me? Why are you gonna make her, why are you gonna make her pay for that when it's her dad you should have the problem with? You should be putting him in the chamber. What the heck? That ain't right. They're like insects. They should be got rid of as early as- Oh, wow. She said they're like insects? Oh, this trunch bowl goes hard in the paint. Dang. When I tell you to empty your pocket, you'll do it faster, won't you? <laughs> she got, she's shaking the kids down. She told that fool, she got this fool hanging upside down like Spider-Man. Why did we like this movie? Why? Like, I really can't see myself liking it as a little children, but as an adult, it's entertaining as hell. I'm not gonna hold you. It's super entertaining, but I just can't understand how when I was a little children. I just don't know. Do you know? <laughs> Miss Trunchbull out here about to give uh that super head to the gecko. For what, Miss Trunchbull? For this newt, you piss worm! I'm telling you, I- Piss worm? Wow. The language. Because I'm big and you're small, and I'm right and you're wrong. Oh, here we go. It's the same thing her daddy said. They're the same person. How ironic. No oh, life's in the history of civilization. Am I wrong? No, no. You're right about yourself and her daddy, for sure. 
Game recognizes game. That's what they say. Many people don't feel powerful at all. Man, don't you hate when you go, like when you do something and then you try to show somebody else and all of a sudden it you can't do it no more? Or like I've had this happen with cars plenty of times. I'll be having hella car issues at it. And then just as soon as we go to a mechanic, now the car acting like it's a regular day. Like, oh yeah, we're just gonna start up with no issues. Before I got here, you was beatboxing like Biz Marquis. Now I wanna start up with no issue. Sometimes you can do something until you wanna show someone and then you can't. Exactly. It, no, it's not even it's not even a good thing. That's annoying. That's what that is. Would you like to come over to my house this afternoon? I'd like that. Shoot, if I was her, I'd be like, yeah. Can you adopt me too? Like right now? I don't want to go home, actually. Can I live with you? A family that doesn't always appreciate you. But one day things are She said always. You mean never? Her family never appreciates her. I ain't seen it yet. Whoever painted the trench ball must have had a strong stomach. Oh, that was a really good, that was good, Matilda. Wow, that was good. Do you know how strong you gotta be to be able to move the car like that? She got, she got big muscles, for real. This is my room. It looked like ain't nobody been in there since you. Look at all these cobwebs. They for sure got Corona in that room. Is that the seat up? Oh, hell no, that's Annabelle. Get her out of there. <laughs> Dang, of course. She makes all of the noise. Uh, Miss Honey gave you an out and then you you blew your spot up. Oh, she smelled her perfume, so she knows that she's still in the house. Matilda, now's your time. Get out of there. Back in that house again. I promise. You could tell by the way that she said that, like, we'll go back tonight. Like, she ain't scared of nothing. Matilda got a plan. She just gonna have to execute it without you. Do you like that show? I love that show. Look at the detectives. They about to run a choo-choo. All aboard. Mm-mm-mm. They are not cops. They are ace powerboat salesmen. Oh, and they about to powerboat their way through you, for sure. They gon' they gonna show you a couple boats for sure. You interested in timeshare? <gasps> you don't let me Oh, he don't know it, but he is introduced into timeshare at this point. Yep, cause the time is getting shared with your wife, my boy. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I'm not gonna lie, they didn't miss with this soundtrack though. They got some bops in this, for sure. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Hallelujah. Honestly, Matilda's better than me because if I knew that they were trying to catch my dad on some stuff, I would've just let him go because he don't want me to be here anyway. So, hey, go ahead, lock him up, fellas. I was like, what information y'all need? I can tell y'all what my dad's been doing. He been selling $100 cars for seven and 6,000. Yep, get rid of him. I definitely respect how Matilda is playing with her right now. That's payback for sure. <laughs> Yo, have you ever went to sit down in a chair and somebody actually pulled it from you? I think that's happened to me maybe two times in my life. Or maybe just once. I remember one time for sure, but I don't know. I don't know if it happened a second time, but I for sure remember this one time. Cause boy, when I tell you me and this dude fought, we, oh my goodness, I swung on him something tough. I'm not gonna hold you. I would be terrified if there was a little children in my classroom making objects float. Immediately, I would have hit that little girl with the Heisman. Ha! Big head little girl, knocked to the ground. Y'all see how I didn't even look at her? It would have been that, boop, that quick on the ground. Yeah. Her daddy don't care about her anyways. Nope, you're not gonna be in my classroom doing magic? No, hell no. I'm not gonna lie, after everything that she's done this whole movie, that was rightfully deserved, for sure. Cause she really out here abusing people's children and they're still sending their kids to school. Like they have to be going home telling them like, like, you know, every parent asks like, so what'd you learn at school? Like, I learned how to survive in a closet with nails in my face. Like what? They probably taking in all types of carbon monoxide. How are these kids still alive? They're all little witches, all of them. They got magic, every single one of them. Hey! 
Yo, her lips are hella white. Y'all need to drink water. That's the reminder. Drink water. For real. First of all, that globe is super big. To be able to hold her up, that joker's strong. I ain't never seen no real life globe like that before. Yo, those kids are way nicer than me because I would have found her whip and I would have been high lashing her. Miss Honey moved back into her father's house. And that is a really gorgeous house too. That joker is huge though. Oh, get in the car, hurry up. Let's wrap up these cookies. Come on, we'll leave. Yeah, ain't no way you finna just throw my cookies in your backpack. No. Miss Honey, please don't let them- Get in the car, Melinda. Matilda. Whatever. That fool called her Melinda. Wow. Ain't no way. Book in the library. I've had him since I was big enough to Xerox. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Have you ever Xeroxed anything? I ain't never Xeroxed nothing. Wow. You're the only daughter I ever had, Matilda. Yeah, but she's the daughter that you never wanted. I don't even, you don't want nobody in this family. You just want the money. That's it. Hey, 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 hey. All the way. All the way. Yay. This song is such a bop. It just makes you feel good when you hear it. To her great surprise, that life will be fun. Miss Honey, can you please come adopt me? All right, please. I swear I'll be good. I swear. I would like to hold my who actually sings this song, though? I don't even know who sings this. I'm gonna be singing this song for the rest of the week because of this movie now. Like, it's gonna be stuck in my head. It, it already lives rent free in my uh, karaoke in my mind, but for sure I'm gonna be singing it a lot. All right, that's how it ends. Cool. Okay, so that was a childhood nostalgic movie, Matilda. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this movie commentary. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Like right now, click that thumbs up button for your boy, please, all right? Also, spam with the chat with some hearts before we get up out of here. Go get you some water. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't. And if there is a movie suggestion that you would like to see me do, put it in the comment section right now with the hashtag Bingers, B-I-N-G-E-R-S, and uh, I'll get to it when I feel like it. To keep it a stack with you, I'll get to it when I feel like it. Nine times out of 10, I'm probably going live, so you guys be on the lookout for that, whether it's on YouTube or twitch.tv slash Billy Binges, go give me a follow over there. I also have a Discord. All right, you guys are welcome to leave suggestions and all that good stuff over there, and just to come join the community. It's a grand old time. And we do like movie nights and stuff, so please partake, please. Anyways, that's all I got. I love each and every single one of you guys. And until my next movie commentary, I will see y'all then. Billy Binges out. Oh. <laughs>